What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. My name is Alex. We're going to be going over top three stocks you should watch for earnings next week. And we're going to be going over some potential options plays on these stocks. So not much companies are reporting earnings next week. It's kind of boring. Um, but there's three companies in particular that we're going to be watching. The first one going to be PepsiCo, uh, which reports earnings Tuesday before the market opens. Uh, we also got Levi's, which is reporting earnings Wednesday after the market closes. And then we got Tilray, which reports earnings Thursday before the market opens. So three companies that we're watching, and we got three potential options plays for you guys. So PepsiCo, um, pretty high-priced stock. Um, we do think that's going to be pretty good. I mean, this is a great long-term stock to be holding. Pepsi products are everywhere not going away and people just are addicted to their, their beverages so if we go to pepsi options um we're going to be doing the shortest term op expiration date which is going to be october 8th uh, and there's going to be two strategies that you could be doing the first one is going to be selling a cash secured put um, and this is a relatively higher price stock so it is going to require uh, a few 10 like around 14 15 thousand dollars of collateral Quite a lot of collateral so if you don't want to do that we're going to be going over a cheaper option strategy as well called a uh, credit spread so let's take a look at what level we want to sell options on pepsi so it looks like we have some really solid support around this uh 147 148 dollar level so what we want to do is we're going to be selling um some options around that level so the first one is going to be people with larger accounts looking for a um, little less risk. And it's going to be this cash secure put at the $148 strike. You're only going to be collecting $87 of premium for the week. Not that much, but uh, it is going to be a safer play. And right now, implied volatility is going to be higher because earnings are going to be reported for this stock. So once the earnings report comes out, uh, we will see a nice IV crush, and then we can close it generally the next day. As long as the stock price doesn't tank, completely tank, uh, we can close it out for a profit the following day. Uh, if you want, you could go to the uh, October 15th expiration date, choose the same price, the same strike price, and you'll collect almost a 1% uh, return right there. But we're going to be doing the October 8th, uh, and personally, I probably won't be doing this one. What you should do is going to be better for small accounts and it's going to be the put credit spread. So there's going to be two strikes that you should be doing. The first one is going to be selling the 148 and buying the 147. As we can see here, our minimum credit is going to be $23. Um, but we do have to put down collateral of $100. So it's going to be about a 23% return in a week. Um, it's actually going to be a little bit more because it's going to be the collateral, the, um, the credit divided by our collateral minus our credit, which is going to be 67, 67, no, 77. And that's going to be almost a 30% return in a week as long as Pepsi stays above $148 by the end of the week. So really good return right there. Um, if you want to be a bit safer, you want to go lower in the strikes, you could do one lower, the 147, sell that, and buy the 146, 13, dollars of credit right here uh, which is going to be around a 15 percent return in a week so if you want to be safer these are the strikes you want to be choosing really high chance of profit as well over 80 percent uh, so that's going to be the option plays for pepsi next stock is going to be levi's uh, so let's take a look at this stock uh, and it's going to be a cheaper price stock really great for selling cash care puts on uh, and overall, the chart looks pretty nice as well, up 85% in the past year. So it's doing pretty well. Uh, it's a clothing company, of course. People are very familiar with this company. Um, and they don't have weekly options, so we're going to be choosing the October 5th expiration. And it looks like there's some really good premium to be collected on this stock. So let's head over to the charts. Let's see what levels uh, we want to sell, uh, put at. Uh, looks like there's some strong support at this 40 24 dollar level bounced off twice here um almost three times really nice support level right here so 24 dollar strike 
um, is something that you could do. Uh, 71 chance of profit. But what I would probably do is a 23 strike. Collect $35 of premium. Collateral of $2,300. Um, so really nice strike right here. Uh, if we do the calculation, $35 divided by 20 to 65 it's going to be a 1.5 percent return in about two weeks not that bad uh, especially when playing options um and selling cash to put it's going to give you a really nice safe return uh for this stock um so that's going to be levi's of course you could just you could just buy and hold shares for any of these companies if you do believe in them um but overall i love selling options really profitable strategy uh, and I do have a lot of plays on earnings, especially in our Discord, in the link in the description below. Um, so we also have Tilray reporting earnings on Thursday. So if we take a look at that stock right there, cheaper price stock, perfect for selling options, especially for people with smaller accounts that don't have a lot of buying power. Um, overall, it's been on a downtrend. We had an insane run up uh, in October <laughs> as well as February. Um, but overall, down slight downtrend um so let's take a look at the charts kind of see what levels we like um even though it's on a slight downtrend um it does seem like it's kind of bottoming out around eleven dollars ten dollars um so let's have a look options chain so kind of premium we're dealing with um so what i would do is either this ten dollar strike october 8th expiration date 81 chance of profit you're collecting 16 dollars of premium Really good return right here. But if you want to be safer, 9.5 strike is going to give you a 1% return in one week, which is what I would personally probably be doing because uh, I like to play it safe. I like to have consistent winners. And overall, that's the best way to grow your account, especially for people with larger accounts. So I'll probably sell multiple of these contracts, maybe five of these contracts, like $45 of premium for the week. Um, so, so that's that's about it for this video. Three stocks that you should be watching for earnings, as well as some example options plays that you could be playing um, that would be pretty profitable and consistent winners. Um, leave a like if you like the video. Comment down below what other stocks you're watching. And of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.